Nearly 3,000 members of the New Jersey National Guard are undergoing training in Fort Bliss, Texas. They're preparing for tours overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan. Zachary Fink traveled to Fort Bliss with the New Jersey delegation. In part two of Training in Texas, New Jersey Goes to War, we meet some of the soldiers making the sacrifice. As our New Jersey delegation toured the training grounds, our military guides repeatedly emphasized that these soldiers, who are giving it their all in 100 degree plus temperatures, are citizen soldiers. And for the duration of the deployment, their jobs and families will have to come second. Make no mistake about it, these are citizen soldiers transitioning from citizen to soldier and for a year they're putting their life on hold in their civilian sector to serve our nation. But as we began to talk to members of the New Jersey National Guard, we learned that for some, military service is more than just a one-year commitment. Uh, yes, this is my fourth deployment going over and my wife's second deployment also. So we've both been deployed at the same time. She's at a different company, Foxtrot. While we weren't able to speak to Sergeant Maldonado's wife, his experience is not unique. There are a handful of husbands and wives who will be serving together in Iraq and even some fathers and sons. Yeah, we're going to be about 30 miles apart, 30, 35 miles Where are you going to be at again? I'm going to be right downtown yeah. back. Yeah, so. yeah, give or take. Give or take, about 30 miles apart. 51-year-old Sergeant Angelo Sukameli from New Egypt, Ocean County, is on his second tour. But this time, his son John is coming with him. Yeah, it kind of makes a difference. I mean, this is my first tour, so it's still, it's a little scary. I've got to be honest. I mean, but if you're not really scared about it at all, well, then you're a little crazy. That's not a good thing. It, it's scary. <laughs> I'm not worried, because I know what he can do. His mother's the one that's worried. <laughs> Sergeant First Class William Schreiber is 53 years old, and he's been with the Guard since 1986. He and his 24-year-old son Ryan are also headed to Iraq. They were deployed together once before, but in Germany. This time, they both admit the stress level is a bit higher. It's a double-edged sword. Uh, I'm tremendously proud of my son for coming in, doing what he's doing, uh, but there's a certain amount of nervousness and apprehension with him going over there also. We'll be close. We won't be working together, but we will be pretty close. Uh, I feel like it takes a little bit of the edge off. But, you know, makes me a little, uh, a little less nervous, but uh, at the same time, I do feel nervous you know, for him. During our trip, Governor Corzine met with the troops, including those with family members also in the service. Luis and Felix de la Cruz are from Jersey City. Older brother Luis was the first of the two to join the Guard. This is uh, actually my younger brother's first deployment, and uh, um, this is my second time going. It's the first time we went to the Sinai, and this time we're going to Iraq. So. Luis is 37 years old, and he works for Avon in Suffern. He will be stationed in Baghdad beginning in September. His brother Felix, who works for the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office, enlisted in 2000, before the 9-11 attacks changed the role of the Guard. Now there's, there's more of a sense of patriotism, a uh, sense of uh, just uh, fulfilling your obligation, doing something for the cause in your country. So uh, that's what's changed in me personally since 9-11. This is pretty uplifting. You see a lot of people who care about our country, who want to serve us, who want to protect us. And uh, I, uh, you know, I love being around uh, the folks uh, because they care. Nearly 3,000 members of the New Jersey National Guard are headed overseas, the largest deployment since 1940. During World War II, about 15% of the nation's population was enlisted, but today it's one-third of 1%. As a result, many guardsmen have done multiple tours. The primary mission of the New Jersey soldiers will be guarding detention centers. The New Jersey Guard will be stationed at two prisons within the military's green zone, Camp Buca and Camp Cropper. They'll begin shipping out to Iraq just before Labor Day, and their commitment inside the country is 10 months. Zachary Fink, NJN News, Fort Bliss.